a very good day to all my dear friends welcome back to my channel today's recipe is a simple appetizer we are going to make pan fried paneer slices and the marination is so simple yet it is very delicious along with it i'm going to serve some baby spinach tossed with a lot of garlic and cherry tomatoes it makes a complete mini meal by itself along with this sometimes i just finish my meal with a bowl of soup or some sandwich so let's make this paneer and i'm sure you're going to love it too here are the ingredients for the paneer appetizer i've taken one packet of paneer which is about 200 grams uh, use malai paneer for best results crushed garlic 2 tablespoons 1 lemon red chilli flakes half teaspoon coarsely crushed black pepper half teaspoon salt to taste and here we have some fresh coriander leaves handful oil about 3 tablespoons some cherry tomatoes and some baby spinach these are the sides to go with paneer ingredients list is also shared in the description box first let us slice the paneer cut into halves first and then slice it so we get four pieces make sure all the pieces are evenly cut malai paneer is really very soft and you have to handle it very gently now the slices are done time to marinate them marination is also very simple there is no fuss appetizer, not ma uh, spices go into it except garlic and some peppers. Half of the garlic you transfer it into the plate, leave the remaining for the spinach. Add salt as needed. Some chili flakes add more if you like it spicier I have added very little black pepper 1 8 teaspoon now squeeze out the lemon juice this is small lemon I am using it one full if it is large lemon you can use only half we want the mild tangy flavor not too sour If you wish to add any spices, you can go ahead and add some garam masala or cumin powder. But I like making like this simple flavors, mild and light on the stomach. Give it a nice mix and rub the marination on the paneer slices. Later we will be adding some fresh coriander leaves as well to give a nice color. If you want you can even marinate it previous day and refrigerate the paneer. Minimum one hour you should leave it. Now the marination is done. You can set this aside for one hour at least. If you are preparing it after one hour, it can stay outside. If you are keeping it for more time, you can put it in the refrigerator. Cover a cling film and refrigerate it. Now, when you are ready to serve it, just heat two tablespoons of oil in a pan. Better to use a non-stick pan. As the paneer is very delicate, it should not stick to the pan. Now, fry the slices. We can do this on high flame because pani doesn't require a lot of cooking. We only have to get color on it. Pour the remaining marination over the slices. After a little while you can flip 
this way you fry it flipping it a couple of times until it gets a nice color on it simple appetizer and very nutritious paneer is rich in proteins and a best option for vegetarians carefully flip them again and you can see now how the color is changing beautiful golden brown this is nearly done now finally we'll finish it with some coriander leaves on top at this stage put some coriander leaves they give a nice color to these paneer slices we are going to flip it one more time so that the coriander leaves get slightly cooked and they get stuck to the paneer slices now this side also same way we'll put some coriander leaves on all of them this is one of my favorite snack if you want to serve it in a party you can cut into smaller pieces and serve it as a small appetizer cocktail snack small pieces are easier to serve in a party it's done now remove them into a plate hardly took few minutes now wipe the pan with a kitchen tissue and the same pan pour 1 tea tablespoon of oil now add the remaining garlic and saute it saute until it changes the color now at this stage add little salt and black pepper dip in the baby spinach just have separated the leaves from the stems and add them straight away without chopping it toss it a bit until the leaves are little limp it's ready it's done you don't have to overcook the spinach to retain the nutrition remove it into a platter this goes very well with grilled meats on the side now add the cherry tomatoes and toss them as well the same pan has garlic flavors they'll be infused into the tomatoes they have to be cooked slightly not overdone now sprinkle some salt on them give it a nice mix toss them together with the salt that's it they are done remove them into a plate sprinkle some black pepper on them now we can assemble the platter with paneer slices spinach and cherry tomatoes delicious and nutritious appetizer is ready for you you can just have this and a bowl of soup will complete your meal or maybe a sandwich on the side so do give it a try 
thank you for watching check out some videos from the archives in, in case you have missed them stay tuned for the next recipe bye